Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit partiziablockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. According to the World Economic Forum, there will be 149 million new tech jobs created by 2025, and we are currently facing a critical and global talent shortage, especially in fintech, blockchain, cryptocurrency, and cybersecurity. It seems, though, that somehow women are being left out. So today, I am very excited to welcome Caroline Ramad, a member of the United Nations Women's Council in France and founder of 50 in Tech, a career accelerator platform for women that helps companies recruit tech talent regardless of gender and also helps women get some of these amazing and well-paying jobs. Welcome, Caroline. Hi. So, Caroline, to start with, 50 in Tech, your goal is to get 50% of all tech jobs filled by women by 2050. Tell us a bit about some of the great opportunities and why now is the time to get them. So you told it, many job opportunities in tech, but the fact is that we have only 25% of women working actually in the tech industry. And if you are regarding cybersecurity, it's 11%, and all about blockchain, only 5%. So many jobs, few women, how we can gather that? How can we change that? And so we need to accelerate and we need to build really an inclusive place for them in order to attract them in this industry. What is discouraging women from joining these really exciting and amazing tech jobs? One out of two women for now are living tech after eight years of experience. In cybersecurity, is three years. Why? Because we have a, a male-dominated industry, and what they are saying is that there is a lack of fair care pass, a gender pay gap, some bias in tech. And, and so um, they can't be like the leaders they really want to become, and we have only 8% of women C-level. So working on the, in the level of inclusivity of this company is critical and key in order to attract them, but also to retain them in this industry. Let's talk a little bit about salaries. Uh, according to the United Nations, there's an 18% difference in salaries between men and women. How are you combating this through your work at 54 Tech and with the United Nations Women Council? That's simple. We are selecting companies based exactly on two pillars. The pillars are, are they doing, uh, practicing uh, equal pay and fair career pass. And that's the two key factors in order to reduce this gender pay gap. Because only 8% of women see level for now, so we need to help them to promote them in order to pay fairer. And we need to have compensation policies and, and really transparency in salary uh, in order to change that. So we are selecting companies and we're offering this job, this amazing job, to these women who are perhaps underpaid and perhaps not fairly promoted. We have a huge event coming up next week in Paris, the Viva Tech Conference, and you have initiated the Female Founders Awards there to help promote uh, venture capital funds for uh, female-founded startups. Can you tell us a bit more? Why it's so important to help women to raise funds and give them visibility? Uh, it's because we have, uh, they have access to only 2% of all the capital risk globally. So this is nothing. To solve that, we gather uh, a challenge to help women to, be, uh, to have visibility and to uh, get matches with VCs and to, uh, to get this visibility to access money. We have 500 women uh, willing to raise funds across uh, the world who applied. We're going to have five semi-finalists and one winner uh, and many VCs will be present in order to hear them, but also to fund them. Uh, and that is the initiative that we have done. And the last winner was a crypto girl, GFNS, that raised 40 million euros just after VivaTech. What would you say to a girl who could be interested in a job in cybersecurity, blockchain, or crypto finance? So I will say first, this is an amazing opportunity. We are talking every day about blockchain, uh, every day about fintech and, 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 and cybersecurity. So this is jobs that they don't know about. And we have to say to them that it's possible and that there is like way to do it, uh, certification in order to, to, uh, to make a career change. And this is the opportunity that you have now. And they are massive and huge. Thank you so much, Caroline, for decrypting why and how tech companies can welcome more gender diversity. Join us next week when we will take you to the World Economic Forum to find out about India Blockchain, one of the most ambitious public sector blockchain projects in the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.